Hello friends, it's Tracy with The Great Adventures and I am about to set out on a new adventure with my dog Ellie. Uh, we are going to the Flatland Center Camp which is in Christmas, Florida. We are going to camp overnight and we're going to check out some of the state forests and things. Uh, and we're also going to go over to the beach in Titusville. So come along and uh, we're going to have a great adventure. So, Ellie's hot. <laughs> it's been a day. The campsite's a little bit away from where you have to park, so we did have to walk in here and out a few times to grab all our stuff. Um, they did have wheelbarrows, which certainly helps a lot. And it's a pretty site. It's got some, uh, it's actually got quite a few campsites here, probably 10 or so with some of them are uh, fully furnished. They've got a yurt. They've got a couple canvas tents. So we did, on the way down, we stopped off at a uh, little big econ forest. That's in Geneva. And we just took a short hike in there, about 30, 40 minutes, to wear Miss Ellie out before we got here to the campground. And I really wanted to check it out anyway because they do have some dispersed camping in there, some primitive campsites. They are about three miles from the trailhead. So one of the things I realized in coming to this campsite and having to walk back and forth several times, I have way too much stuff. I have too much stuff. So I have to figure out how to pare that down and be able to, you know, go into a, a little bit more primitive area. Hello friends. So we have got everything set up at our campsite. Our campsite is actually pretty cute. Um, it was a little sunny when we got here, but now it's pretty much full shade. It's about 5.30. Um, so not bad at all. We've got a nice cool breeze. It has been a little bit warm today. And I'm going to say that a mistake that I made was to not bring my little battery operated fan. It would have been helpful and Ellie would have loved it. She's, she's a hot dog. She's a hot dog. But the campsite is cute. It's got a um, dispersed camps and a couple of yurts for rental. And they're all set up so that you can just come in. You don't even have to have your own equipment or anything. So that's nice. Uh, my campsite, and I'll, I'll show you a little panorama. It's got a little pond here, and which is very empty because we've had a drought. It's been very, very dry in Florida for the last several months. So all the water is down. Uh, but other than that, we're pretty, a little bit far away from neighbors. There were some other dogs here that are a little aggressive and Ellie doesn't like that very much. So we almost had a confrontation, but that's gonna happen sometimes. Okay, that's good. Break it again. Good girl. There's my working dog. Break up that firewood. Keep that thing. You are the star of the show. Okay, now that all the machinery has stopped, there were a bunch of, I don't know, people mowing lawns and stuff like that. So obviously we're not so far out in the country. There are neighbors all around. Um, but we're on five acres and it's nice. It's very pretty. I'm gonna show you kind of a panoramic view of where we are staying. View of our campsite. This is a little pond over here, very cute. It's very empty. 
We've got gorgeous sky. The sky is so incredibly blue today. It's going to be great for star stargazing, I'm hoping. And around here is our little campsite. And we've got the tent up. We are ready for whatever. <laughs> it's not going to rain tonight, so we should be absolutely perfect without the sky flap. And just really cute. You can't really see any of the neighbors from here, so liking it. I'm liking it. Alright, so I am just sitting here, but I am listening to cows in the background and roosters in the background, wondering if they're going to do this all night. Okay, so we are apparently right at the next door neighbor's fence, and lo and behold, here's the cow. He's a pretty boy, or girl. I can't tell from here. I think boy. But he's been making the ruckus. And I think there's the chicken house right there in the background. So that's where the rooster and the cow calls have been coming from. <laughs> We are just sitting by the fire. We've had dinner and <laughs> just waiting for the stars to come out because one of the things that they advertised was that this was a place where you could really see the stars. So I will let you know how that goes. Okay. So we are bedding down for the night and it seems like my strategy worked bringing the uh, cushion off the sofa bed. She's liking it, and I got the other bed to myself. So it's pretty early morning, and there aren't really any trails or anything around here, so we are going to go look for a place for Ellie to poop. It was noisy. It was really noisy. There were people parasailing above us. Um, there was lots of machinery. I think it's pretty close to the airport, so we didn't really have a lot of background noise, uh, which wasn't what I was looking for. And there were dogs barking all night long, literally all night long. It does get pretty dark at night, so you can see the stars pretty well. Um, and that's one of the reasons I like going out into the state forests. Um, but it was okay. It was, it was okay. So, I made a rookie mistake and I totally forgot to bring my coffee holder. Um, I have one of the little small ones that just makes one cup at a time and it's a pour over and I forgot it. I remember the coffee, but I forgot that. So, before we go on trails today, we are going to stop and get some coffee. I just thought that I would show you the sun coming up through the trees. It's just gorgeous. So we headed over towards Titusville. We took 50 out here. Because um, I wanted to see what the beaches were like over in Titusville. So as we came up 50, I noticed that there were a whole bunch of parking places. Um, a lot of them <laughs> were very well visited, but I found this one that's kind of secluded uh, right off of 50 and you can get right down to the beach. Some of the trails are a little bit hard to navigate, but this one is easy. Um, but you can see how gorgeous it is. This is actually on the intercoastal, so we're not at the beach beach, uh, but this will do for now. So the intercoastal is actually brackish water, which means that it's part salt and part fresh. 
Um, it still does have things like alligators. Dolphins come in here. People do a lot of fishing on this waterway. So Ellie found something that's kind of cool I'm going to show you. This is a shell from a horseshoe crab. Um, used to find them on the beaches all the time. I haven't seen one in a bit. Is that an even better one, Ellie? What did you find? Here's another horseshoe crab. That one's almost intact. In fact, he's still got some of his legs underneath there. So you're going to find Miss Ellie. A dog in the ocean. Well, the intercoastal anyway. One thing I will say about this place is there's a lot of garbage. They could definitely do some cleanup. And why do people have to be so disgusting? Right? Clean up after yourselves, people. Clean up. A lot of vegetation here. Trying not to mash it down. All right. And I'm in a lot of horseshoe crabs. <laughs> Must be a main food source for the birds around here. Okay, I gotta focus on my dog or I'm gonna fall over. So we just crossed over the uh, International Waterway, which is the Indian River. And as we were going by, I noticed tons of people uh, there's a walkway up there across a whole bridge and tons of people have parked uh, right before on either side of the highway and they've walked up and there's a ton of pelicans out here so we're going to get out really quick and just get some shots of them. Why you make this so hard, Duggo? <laughs> okay, so somebody's been having a feast. Look at all these. Somebody is just jumping. So some people told me that there was going to be a launch in about 10 minutes. We're very close to the Kennedy Space Center. Man, there must be a school of fish over there. See a little bit of smoke over there. And it's loud. Yeah, got distracted by the whoa. So we got what we could of the launch, which wasn't a whole lot, it was so far away. But it was still a cool experience. We saw some of the smoke, tiny little thing going up in the sky. I'm not sure if I got much of that on film, we'll see. But it was totally worth it to get the footage of the birds. That was just amazing. 
So that made the whole trip. And we've had a couple fun days, and now we are heading back home. Ellie is tired, and I have some stuff to do. But man, we got some good footage. We did manage to get to at least the intercoastal beach. Um, in Titusville, after you cross the bridge, there's also a National Wildlife Refuge drive through that you can do, and we'll come back and do that another day. That looks like a lot of fun. But now we're headed back over the bridge and headed home. It's so funny, I just keep passing all these conservation areas and wildlife management areas that I never even knew existed. So this is out on 46, State Road 46, and there's just there's a ton of them. Salt Lake Wildlife Management Area, um, just past another conservation area. There's so much to do here. It's so exciting. So I found my campsite on hipcamp.com. Um, it's a great website. You can go on there and tell them the you know, basic location you're looking for, um, what you want as far as amenities, and they make recommend recommendations based on location. Um, there are a lot of different places. I had no idea that you know, people did that, but it's kind of like an Airbnb for campers. Um, this place, it was neat. I mean, if, if you didn't have a tent, you could rent one of their yurts. Um, or they also have a couple canvas tents that you could rent, and, just, and it was cheap. I paid $15 for my site, so I have no complaints about that. Um, but the dogs. The dogs. Yeah, dogs. <laughs> Barking all night. I mean, not even, like, howling. No, these were yappy dogs. since I got there until I left. Whether it was the dogs, people parasailing, just the machinery and, you know, farms next door. Another thing I didn't like was the walk to the site. I mean, it, it wasn't unbearable, but it took me like six trips to get all my stuff out there. So I really prefer to have a campsite where I can drive my car in and just unload it right there. That would have been that's it for this time. We hope that you enjoyed our little trip and make sure that you do that like thing and subscribe and please share in your other media channels. It really helps a lot. And we will see you on the next great adventure. Until then, we hope that you have a great adventure of your own.